Hey everyone, my name is Rebecca Merrill and I manage all things digital at the Cathedral of St. John the Divine in New York City. In an attempt to uh, cure my uh, aloneness, I am calling up my, some of my cathedral colleagues and checking in to see how they are doing during the current uh, situation with the cathedral temporarily closed. So today I've called up my colleague uh, Raymond Nagum, who's the Associate, Associate Director of Music at the Cathedral. Hi, Ray. Hi. Um, okay, so as you have seen multiple times, I'm calling you from my kitchen uh, in my apartment in Harlem. Uh, where am I talking to you? I am in my living room. I'm up here in Washington Heights, about 181st Street, and I've been here uh, really ever since the city shut down. Nice. Um, so I mentioned that you're the Associate Director of Music at the Cathedral. Um, what does that mean when the cathedral is open? Usually I have literally a very hands-on job, uh, meaning that uh, you know, I'm playing instruments. Uh, I'm working with our cathedral choirs, our professional choir, our volunteer cathedral chorale, um, our 33 cathedral choristers from the cathedral school. Um, and if I'm not uh, working with singers, then I'm uh, probably uh, practicing. And of course, I play for three services a week um, on Sundays and uh, very often additional services, weddings, funerals, and all kinds of special events. Uh, so I am uh, almost always, when the cathedral's open, there um, almost every day. How long have you been working at the cathedral? And how'd you get involved with the cathedral? Um, I came in the fall of 2010, so this is my 10th year here. Wow. wow. Um, and what are you, uh, what are you doing with your time now? What are you doing with yourself now? Well, I have a lot more time to practice. Um, <laughs> some of the administrative duties uh, don't go away um, and we are still keeping in touch with lots of our singers uh, via Zoom and uh, trying to keep track of what they're doing, uh, both musically and personally. Um, so there are some aspects of the job that, uh, that just continue, but I find myself with uh, a lot more time to practice and listen to music than probably I've had since I got to the cathedral. <laughs> I mean, I guess that's kind of nice in a way. <laughs> it, it is an opportunity perhaps to start some, uh, some big projects that uh, I've always tended to put off before. Mm -hmm. um, there was a moment of time uh, between when the cathedral closed to the public and when this uh, stay at home or pause order was issued and you were able to um, record some music in the cathedral with nobody there that we put out um, on our website and our social media. What was that like? So I was actually scheduled to play a recital on the day that the cathedral uh, closed its Sunday services to the public. On that Sunday afternoon I was supposed to play a program uh, and I had chosen that program because it was music for Lent and uh, it dealt with some themes of uh, longing and uh, uncertainty and uh, even grief and um, it turned out that that music uh, was particularly appropriate for an unsettled moment, an uncertain moment. Uh, and I thought that I wanted to play the music anyway. So I went into the cathedral on Sunday afternoon uh, after uh, we had live streamed our morning service. I went into an empty cathedral and uh, just played through the program uh, and videotaped it and put it on, um, on YouTube and it's on the cathedral website uh, where you can see it. Uh, it was called Out of the Depths because it was, um, music including um, Psalm 130 a setting by Bach uh, which is one of the most um, I'd say one of the most um, it starts in despair but it arrives at something like hope and uh, I think that music was really uh, you know it, it really spoke to the the time and uh, it still speaks I think to the situation that we're in now. Yeah yeah it was really beautiful. Um, coming up, we have uh, Easter, which is usually a huge deal at the cathedral, you know, services with thousands of people in it, lots of music, mass choirs, like a whole, whole deal. Um, and of course, this year we'll be doing, uh, doing our services for Holy Week via live stream. Um, what does that mean for you? How is Easter going to be different for you this year? So I think this is the first Easter in uh, since I was age 10 that I have not uh, been at church, um, both Saturday and Sunday. 
Uh, I think I've had a Saturday service pretty much every, um, every Easter as well, uh, Easter vigil uh, before the Sunday morning service. So this, is, this will feel very strange. Uh, we are, as a music department, we are uh, continuing to produce uh, sacred music. And uh, Kent Tridel, our director of music, and I are, have both uh, contributed some uh, videos and uh, some, some recordings of hymns. Uh, we are going to get our cathedral choir singers involved, uh, hopefully, to, um, to produce some some music uh, appropriate for the day and even though we're sharing it via zoom rather than uh, with uh, 2,500 people gathered in the cathedral uh, we will still um, we'll still mark the feast and we'll still um, we'll still celebrate even in these circumstances yeah I think it's gonna be really great um, so you mentioned that most of the time your job really is based in being at the cathedral um, what sort of workstation have you set up for yourself in your home? Is it, is it, uh, you know, do you, do you normally, you don't like normally have a desk at your home? What do you, uh, what's your, what's your thing? <laughs> Well, my wife works in tech, so we have all of the, uh, all of the cables and, uh, you know, tech, we have basically everything needed, uh, to do, uh, you know, live streams and, uh, the only, the only problem is sometimes say uh, when everybody in the building is using the internet it, it gets very slow um, but I am right behind me I uh, can see is uh, my piano which is uh, actually an 1888 uh, Steinway made he right here in New York in Queens and um, so I've been using that I don't have an organ uh, in my house so I've been playing the piano and uh, making the best I can out of this very cool um do you have uh any what in your in your isolation and your quarantine and your staying at home is there any uh snacks or food or what is uh what is your go-to thing to get you through this right now well one thing i again that i can do now that i have rarely been able to do as much as i want is cook uh, we've both been cooking a lot uh, my wife and i and uh I, we have a freezer full of food and uh, we're, we're pretty much set. So um, we've been, we've been making all kinds of things from uh, some Szechuan food. Uh, we have a cookbook by Fuchsia Dunlop called The, the Food of Szechuan, which is really amazing. Uh, we've been making some Italian food. Um, I cook some Indian food sometimes uh, and uh, we've, we've been eating fairly well for, um, for the, the last few days. Yeah, if you can't travel, you might as well uh, eat through your, <laughs> eat through the globe. Yeah. Uh, okay, and last but not least, uh, when the cathedral reopens, as we know it will, uh, what are you most look for, looking forward to getting back to? Just making sound in that space again. There's nothing like it uh, really anywhere. Um, and uh, just to, just to, to sing a note or to, to play a chord on the organ and hear the, um, the echo again will be um, really a, quite an experience. I, I, we've, uh, in the music department, we've dealt with uh, some, some wet, long wait times before. Um, our state trumpets uh, above the, 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 right beneath the west window, um, on the, the rose window, um, the state trumpets uh, were out for several years and then they came back in just before Easter uh, of uh, 2019 and uh, just before our fire. So I got to, to play them just for a few days and uh, I imagine the experience of coming back into the cathedral and making music again will be a little bit like that. Yeah, it's going to be really amazing. Um, all right, I think uh, that was all the questions I had for you. I appreciate you taking some time, breaking up my day a bit, <laughs> showing me around. Um, and I'm sure I will see you on video chat soon. <laughs> Thanks, Rebecca. Thanks.